Alex Pereira, known for his terrifying knockout power and precise striking, has taken the light heavyweight division by storm. After a successful middleweight career, Pereira made a bold decision to move up to 205 pounds. And so far, it's paid off. His first major victory came against Jamal Hill, where Pereira's signature left hook put Hill out cold. That performance was a clear message to the division. Pereira was here to dominate. But the real defining moment of his light heavyweight reign came when he faced the dangerous former champion, Yuri Prochaska. Many doubted Pereira's ability to stand up to Yuri's pressure and unpredictability, but once again, his power prevailed. With calculated precision, he secured a knockout victory that left no question. Pereira's power at light heavyweight is a force like no other. Since making the move, Pereira has remained undefeated, and his striking has only gotten more lethal. Every fight, he delivers devastating finishes that leave both fans and analysts stunned. But the question now remains, will Khalil Rountree be the one to stop him? When you get someone who's that much better than everybody else at one skill, it's just such an extraordinary thing. And when every fight starts standing up, when you're dealing with a guy where the consequences are so great, when it comes to a guy like Holoton, and he's just so different than anybody else. Khalil Roundtree's rise to a title shot has been nothing short of incredible. After facing ups and downs early in his career, Roundtree has emerged with a five-fight win streak that's turned heads in the light heavyweight division. His victories over Modestas Bukaskas and Anthony Smith prove that he belongs among the elite. If it wasn't one instrument, it was another instrument, you know, and before you know it, he was like mastering all of them. In his fight against Bukaskas, Roundtree's brutal leg kicks forced a stoppage, showcasing his devastating Muay Thai skills. And when he faced the man can put people's lights out. But this journey hasn't been without setbacks. In 2022, Roundtree was suspended after testing positive for DHEA metabolites, a banned substance under UFC's anti-doping policy. Many thought his career might be over. Yet, Roundtree returned stronger than ever, seeing this as a second chance to prove himself. Someone from their company sent me something that I shouldn't have taken and there was no like heads up hey this no 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 it just came and i continue to take my supplements as i've been doing and then when it was brought to my attention like hey you shouldn't be taking this that's when i immediately alerted the ufc and like hey now with everything on the line khalil roundtree stands on the brink of redemption will he rise to the challenge and defeat the unstoppable alex pereira the ufc's decision to book khalil roundtree as alex pereira's next challenger might seem surprising but it makes perfect sense for the division. Roundtree has built serious momentum, and UFC matchmakers have always been keen to push rising stars with aggressive fighting styles. Roundtree's Muay Thai-inspired approach brings a dangerous edge that fans love. What's up, everybody? I got another fight announcement for you. October 5th, we will be returning to Utah at the Delta Center for UFC 307. The main event, Alex Bader will look to defend his light heavyweight belt against Khalil Roundtree. Pajeda is on a tear and looking to make his third title defense this year. Each of his last three fights have ended in knockouts, beating previous champs Jamal Hill and Yuri Prohaska twice. He will face Khalil Roundtree, who is on a five-fight win streak, with four of those ending in knockouts. With Alex Pereira dominating the light heavyweight division, fresh challengers are needed to keep the competition exciting. And Roundtree is no ordinary contender. His striking style poses a unique challenge for Pereira, a stylistic matchup that promises to be a thrilling stand-up war. This guy is now champion in two weight divisions. He has two of the three highest grossing pay-per-views as a headliner in Madison Square Garden history. But he's only got about seven years, six, seven UFC fights. Beating four champions. He's beating four champions. It's, it's crazy to think what this man has done. For Dana White and the UFC, Matchups like this are what keep divisions alive. Roundtree represents an unpredictable threat to Pereira's reign, and the UFC knows that anything can happen when two explosive strikers meet in the octagon. This fight card, and as you go down the line, you start looking at it, Khalil Roundtree makes a lot of sense, and you said it yourself, no way in hell that's not a fun one. This fight isn't just another bout. It's a turning point for both Khalil Roundtree and Alex Pereira. For Pereira, this is a chance to solidify his reign as the dominant force at 205 pounds. 
After conquering middleweight, Pereira has taken the light heavyweight division by storm. But the question remains. Can he continue this dominance, or will Roundtree shock the world with an upset? For Khalil Roundtree, a victory would completely transform his career. A win over a fighter like Pereira doesn't just earn you a title, it makes you a household name. This fight could be the moment that takes Roundtree from Dark Horse to UFC superstar. Everything that I wanted, which was to be in the UFC, even though I only had three professional fights. Both men are fighting for legacy, for history, and the outcome will reshape the future of the light heavyweight division. Now it's your turn. What do you think will happen at UFC 307? Will Khalil Roundtree pull off the upset? Or will Alex Pereira continue his reign of dominance at light heavyweight? Drop your predictions in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.